hello and welcome everybody to Spooktober, Spooktacular, Spooky Month, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is to you. We're here to watch some scary movies this month. And today we are starting with one that I've wanted to see for a very long time called Frailty. I don't actually know that much about it. Just what I've heard made it sound really good. And I've just heard it's great and that like, everybody says you should see it. It's got, you know, Bill Paxton in it, and I love Bill Paxton and everything I've seen him in. And seeing him in True Lies recently, just that little bit really kind of got me even more hyped to see this. I just know I've wanted to see it for so long, never really got around to seeing it. It's finally my chance. I've avoided the spoilers. I just know it's supposed to be good. So let's find out. Join me while we watch Frailty. Bill Paxton was just such a gem. Such a great actor, seemed like a really good guy. And I think, I I want to say he directed this. So, very curious to see what he's got in store for us today. Butchered body, scene of death. Oh, Matthew McConaughey! Ooh. This music definitely sets the mood, isn't it? This opening really gives me like the feeling of um, Silence of the Lambs. That's what it's kind of invoking for me. Killer claims six victim. Somebody out here causing trouble. God's hand. Oh, this guy, I feel like I've seen him in a thousand things. Aren't you going into work so late for him, my man? Did he ask for me by name? Nope. As for the agent in charge of the God's Hand, okay, he said he had some important info on it. It's a picture of you and your mother, huh? Already had a look at all your plaques and your citations. And your corpses all over the wall? Name's Fenton Meeks. I know who the God's Hand killer is. All right, I'll buy. Well, you hadn't even heard me out yet, and already you doubt me. Why is that? <laughs> they get a lot of people who say stuff like that. Nobody just walks into the office and tells you who the killer is. It just doesn't happen that way. Sometimes truth defies reason, Agent Dole. So who is it then? My brother. Demons are taking over the world. I can't take it anymore. Well, let's talk about this, Adam. Well, there's nothing to talk about. Whatever happens, you have to take me to the Rose Garden. Oh, well, he sounds a little crazy. So sweet. Oh, no. <gasps> Why don't you go to Thurman? Barry, Adam, in the Rose Garden. Why would you do that? He promised. I promised him I would. A long time ago. Weren't you listening? Well, if anything, this has got to do with my case. Adam is the God's hand killer, Agent Dawn. Well, was. I haven't finished yet. Oh, there's more? A lot more. So get comfy. Go get some coffee. I haven't seen Matthew McConaughey in a whole lot of, like, kind of serious roles, so this is very cool. Well, I got a man here in my office named Fenton Meeks. What's he doing there? You know him? He caused a bit of a ruckus, stole an ambulance and his brother's body, too. Guess they didn't want to bury him in the Rose Garden. I'm here because I can't live with what I know anymore. Well, if he's dead, what's the point? That is your mother, isn't it? What makes you think that your brother's a God's hand killer? In the summer of 1979, Adam was three years younger than me. Our mom had died giving birth to him. Oh, jeez. Our dad worked as a mechanic over in Jupiter. That's an impressive meal. Way to go, little guy. I sure love peas. You must. This might turn into one. <laughs> this seems like a very nice, wholesome, happy family. What's going to go wrong? Night, boys. Sleep tight. Don't let those bed bugs bite. That's right. I don't like seeing happy families in a scary movie. See me, boss? I don't see the warriors. I don't like to watch movies by myself. Some people make a half-decent living at that. Not me, but I'm sure some people do. We were happy together until... I need you both to listen to me very carefully. He said he'd had a vision that night. A vision from God. So everything was perfectly normal until right now? An angel came to him and told him the truth of this world and revealed God's special purpose for our family. There are demons among us. The devil has released them for the final battle. I'm scared, Dad. Yeah, I, I would be. We've been chosen by God. He's given us special jobs to do. What? We don't fear these demons. We destroy them. That's God's purpose for us. My dad, that doesn't make any sense. But it's the truth. That's a lot to take in. We can see the demons while other people can't. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds real great. 
We'd we'll be sending us three weapons to destroy them with. Did he have a stroke? We're not supposed to tell anybody about any of this. We put them and ourselves in danger. Well, they'll think you're crazy. Don't worry, it's okay. It's a lot to understand. That would be terrifying. Soon we'll all be in heaven. <laughs> Happy and mostly secure world. Just been flipped over. Dark things under there. Yeah, I would say so. My little boy's mind just couldn't take it. I just, like, he just, like, he, did he just snap? Up and down, boy. I guess no one's going to the movies today. Well, let's go. Snap to it, get dressed. I gotta get to work. Drop you guys off on the way. Did it happen? None of us mentioned it. It was only a dream, a nightmare. Was it, though? And remember not telling anyone what I told you last night. You won't, Dad, bye. Oh, it was real. Oh man, the, the look on his face when he realized that it had actually happened. I'd be lucky if I even noticed that. That's a weapon, all right. Otis? Just hand it to the small child. Boys, look at this. Is that for Colonel Mustard? Angel came again last night. God will be sending us a list of the first seven demons soon. So this is an active thing. Like, we're not just waiting for him. We're going to go find him. I know you've had some trouble. Just and everything that's happened this week. This week? Maybe I ought to take it in a year. Maybe you just dreamed it. I didn't dream it. I wouldn't make up something like that. Well, uh... It's true. You'll see that soon. I got the first list. I mean... I mean, even if you believe this, it's like, really think- you think this is okay for, like, your child? This is something they should be a part of? I mean, cause I believe he's seeing this stuff, but... That would be a way to get your point across, if you're God. That's a terrible place to have a... Vision slash hallucination. So this is a this is a kill list. He's giving him a kill list. These are people's names. And they'll look like people too. They're not. Oh shit. Angel said, when I lay my hands on them, I'll reveal them for what they truly are. That's what the gloves are for. So they're back here, I take the gloves off and reveal them. You'll see. Then you'll believe. I I don't I but maybe maybe I don't want to see. The obvious answer was to tell someone what he was planning, but I couldn't do that. I loved him even if he had gone crazy. What a place. To be in for a child. Dad, look, I got a list too. God gave it to me. Isn't Travis Shed that boy was picking on you at school last week? He's a demon. Tell the truth, Adam. You made this list up yourself, didn't you? No, God did. Adam. Don't lie in God's name. If we were to use your list, we wouldn't be destroying demons. We'd be killing people. We can never do that. There's so much going on here. I'm sorry, Dad. That's all right. This is being played like a sitcom, wholesome family moment. Don't worry. God will send you your own list when you're older. Oh, we're just talking about, you know, killing... Killing something, anyway. <laughs> this, this is so many layers. The only thing left to do was to tell. You're really gonna tell. But that was easier said than done. And with just your word, though, there's nothing they could even do about it. If he hasn't done anything and he hasn't... There's no proof that he's going to. He just made it up. Just like Santa Claus. It's just like that. It, it's not quite like that. I think we should leave. I don't want to leave Dad. We might have to. Why? What if he decides you're a demon? That was my joke, Dad! Oh, he's done it! Son, come over here. Oh, Jesus! I would say getting a little grabby here, but, I mean, it's only going to get worse for her. Shine that light over here. Oh, the, 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 the children. He's dead. Who is that? That's a demon, son. Oh, if it's a demon, how did you catch it? Oh, my God. Said he'd never been there before, but he had no problem finding it. God was leading him. Why don't God just take care of it, then? Please don't. If 
I could spare you this, I would. Uh-huh. We are God's servants, and his will must be served. Don't be afraid, son. I, how could you not be afraid? Like, do you not even realize what what you're asking? Like, what you're saying? How this looks? I mean, I guess not if you're insane, but I thought there was, you're supposed to reveal them. I mean, revealing them might help. Is that true? Why would I make it up? That question's been asked a lot so far in this movie. Oh, so only he gets to see it? That's convenient. Dad, don't wait! Well, that'll mess you up for life. The, uh, the brother's, uh, end makes a lot of sense now. You don't know shit. If it's a demon, why doesn't it sizzle up and disappear? Oh god, it's in pieces. Oh, she's in pieces. Do it like this. Ah. Why out here in the Rose Garden? God chose it. Just like he chose us, I suppose. It would be nice if God would give a little bit more... I don't know... Explanation? I mean, she looked like a woman to me, too. But after I touched her, all I could see was the evil. And I had to do it. I'm sorry you didn't see it, too. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't see it. I'll here. tell. If you do, someone will die. Do you understand? Oh, my God. So you didn't tell? I mean, I love my father, but I was terrified of him. Well, naturally. <laughs> so now you understand why I know my brother's a God's hand killer? Have you got any physical proof? I, I read in the paper that only one of the bodies of the six victims had been found. Now, is that true? You read it in the paper, didn't you? Well, that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. That's true. Well, in this case, it does. See, the first victim was found with a note saying that God's hand had taken it. All the rest, only notes were found, no bodies. It said we wanted to keep them. I have a pretty good idea where the rest of them bodies are. The Rose Garden. Now, why didn't you tell me that in the first place? Would you believe me? I'm sensing a theme here. Faith and belief and trust. <laughs> just, just a hunch. But it's already been made very, very clear that uh, you really can't ever be sure who to believe or what to believe. But I didn't listen. Put them on. I'll put them on for you. That seems excessive. I just can't imagine how you keep something like that inside for so long. People do it all the time. Not that specifically, but childhood trauma is a son of a bitch. You, know, you never did tell me why it is you keep just that one picture of your mother in your office. Why is he so fixated on this guy's mother? My mother was murdered a couple of days after that picture was taken. Did they ever catch him? No. Is that why you took this job? You're pretty good at this. You ever think about becoming a cop? You are hiding something from me. What is it you think I'm hiding? He's been pretty open. A full month had gone by and I'd completely convinced myself that it was over. Just like everything, you think it's okay and then, yep, it gets worse again. You gonna spend that tonight? My mom called and asked if you want. Sure. Let me guess, he's not gonna get to go over to his friend's house because they've got more murders to do. He doesn't want to cut through there anymore, does he? Now I'm gonna go around on the road. I mean, I can't blame him. It just shows what a difference, too, between just the ages. The littler one is just, like, completely accepting of everything his dad's saying because his dad's a hero. We got some work to do in the morning. This little old man? Dad told us that there were moments in everyone's life when they could just suddenly disappear without anyone knowing where they went or why. Comforting. According to Dad, nothing, not even a camera, can catch up. Only one way to find out, I guess. I can't do this, Dad. Can't never could do anything. I can do it, Dad. Are they good? Are they gonna be bait? It's broad daylight. I told you, God will blind them for us. I mean, he's so confident in this and these these assertions. Well, I mean, you're a kid and you want this to stop, so I mean, I guess I wouldn't worry so much about getting caught. Dad, I can't. You can now move. Do what I tell you. Oh, this poor boy. Both of them. My dog, she's under your car. Well, let's see. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh, my God. 
Help me grab his legs, now! You can see him breaking more and more every time. You think that's an innocent man there, don't you? Oh, this is so sick. I mean, we see the shaking and hear the music. I mean, do the kids? I, I don't, I don't understand. You didn't think anyone knew about that, did you? But God saw you. Dad, don't! And you can't escape God's wrath. Yeah, get you a smoke while the kids dig the grave. It was a murder of little children, Finn. Babies, babies. I mean, I want to believe him. I really do. I've got to run away. I don't want to run away. I want to kill and dismember someone every fortnight. I see it when he touches him. No, you don't. Dad's brainwashed. Ask him what he sees. Get up and get dressed. And don't wake your brother. What are you going to do? I asked the angel to visit you. Instead, he visited me. He told me something. I don't want to believe. What? It doesn't matter. Because together, you and I are going to prove him wrong. I would like to know what this angel's saying behind my back, thank you. You just don't have any faith, but we're gonna change that. Oh, goody. Dig a hole right here. Ten feet deep, fifteen feet wide on both sides. That would take days! Dad, I can't do that. Right! <sighs> Sorry I told on you. Oh. He might be able to make me dig this stupid hole, but he can't make me pray. I hope if you promise you won't tell Dad. I don't want your help. But there's another shovel in the shed. Get out of here! Oh, no, come on. I still couldn't leave Adam, no matter how crazy Dad was turning him. Oh, poor, this poor kid. Oh, his arms are all... Oh, and his hands. How is this supposed to give him faith? I'm doing this to hurt you. But she could understand that. What do you want? Didn't you wear gloves today? I didn't need them. Here. I said I was fine. Finn, I know you're mad at me, but that's no reason to cause yourself pain. You take those. I got an extra pair of work gloves in the shed. I want you to use those from now on. Take some time off and let those blisters callous over. This is a very, very interesting but strange illustration of the teenage chafing against the parents. The situation is just very, very strange. My hands bled, but I wouldn't stop. What are you trying to prove, honey? By the sixth day, that hole was as dark and deep as my hatred for Dad's God. Whoa. Bet you didn't pray once the whole time, did you? Nope. Well, you wanted him to, so of course he wouldn't. Move it! Keep it moving! Ah. Ah. Oh. The boys did good, especially you, Finn. I just did as I was told. This is weird. He's trying to, like, be a good dad. And the situation is cocked up. The next night, he brought home another demon. It has to be done. You're gonna make him do it? I'm gonna do it like I showed you. The neck first. When he can't even see these 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 visions of demons. Ben! Ben, get back here! It's like you have to do your own killing today. Oh my god, if he tells them, and they go out to that place and there's nothing there, I'm gonna freak. Craziest thing I've heard in a long time. What are you doing? Calling your dad. If someone said, my dad has someone locked in our cellar, and he's gonna kill him with an axe, why wouldn't you just go look? But, but it's true! I can show you! Let's go. Oh, there's not gonna be anything there. I don't think you understand. He's around back. See what your dad's got to say about all this. What do you think his dad's gonna say? Sorry to wake you, but your boy here seems to have a problem. Oh, no. Well, he hit puberty. Seemed to lose all respect for you. Me and my boy survived it. You will, too. That's a big if in this case. Please, I can show you. Maybe we ought to check the shed just to quiet him down. What do you think, kiddo? Does it have to be done? Either there's nothing there, or this guy's a demon, too. What if I told you there was a third option? Nothing. They must have moved him because he was here. Adam's got him somewhere, I know- And all this is gonna teach him is that no one will believe him or listen to him. You've gotta believe me! <laughs> Holy sh- 
shit. May God welcome you and keep you. So that was a real killing right there. That wasn't a demon. I never killed a man before tonight. I've seen you kill plenty. Those were demons. That was a man. Why can't you see that? It's hard for us to tell the difference. You made me commit murder. You're crazy. <gasps> Okay, whatever you think is going on, man, you just raise an axe to your son. Even if you wholeheartedly believe what you're seeing. He was going to walk away. Why did he kill him? Was he listening to him and he was going to go look for the bodies? I don't quite understand. Come on inside, son. I'll be there in a minute to tuck you in. I thought God was going to clear the way and keep anything from being found out. Come into the shed. That's where the axe murders happen. Come in and shut the door. He must just be terrified. Are you afraid? Of what? You? Yeah. Huh? Only demons should fear me. And you're not a demon, are you? That guy wasn't a demon? The angel said you were. I can't believe that. What? I won't. You're my son. And I love you more than my own life. You know what's funny about all this, Fenton? Nothing? I'm afraid of you. Why aren't you recoiling when you touch him? The angel said he was a demon. I feel like the angel's definition of demon is very broad. What the heck? Come on, get down there. Why? I had to kill a man tonight. Can't let that happen again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Fenton. But this has to be done. But Dad. Go! No! Oh. No! Please, Dad! We'll stay down here until you see the truth. Well, Jesus, I guess that's better than what I thought was gonna happen. No. Only he can help you now. I, oh, I mean, there's axe murder, and then I guess there's torture. It's me! I'm not a demon! It said this was gonna happen. What happens when you decide you're a demon? Please don't do this! No! And in the dark! I brought you some water. It says you can have a cup a day. But I'll bring you more if I can. Look at him. Gotta get me out of here. I can't. Put your mouth to the knot hole right here. Just fake it. Just fake it and go along with him until you can get away. I don't like watching children be tortured. Dad says you'll probably be out there by the end of the week. You just have to accept God's will. A week? I can't stay in here that long. I'll pray for you. Thanks. Didn't he ever come back to Lisa and check on you? On the seventh day. Figures. Has God spoken to you yet? There is no God. Well, that's not gonna help. I lost count of the days after that. It felt like weeks. I finally went beyond fear and to total insanity. I saw God. He had finally sent me a vision. Uh, thanks. It was then that I understood my destiny just like Dad said I would. A little late on that one. Dad, Finn's not answering. I mean, is it summertime? Has he not been missed in school? Finn. Oh, now we're worried? I saw God. I saw I ever doubted you, Dad. It's not fair. All I've seen are demons, and he gets to see God. That's right. But look at the price he paid. It's a new day. Isn't it, Fenton? Mm hmm I feel crazy, too. You sure you're ready for this? Yes, sir. I mean, is he going along to get along, or is he... You'll need them now that God has spoken to you. Is he the actual killer? And not the brother? I want to go too, Dad. Don't worry. Your time will come. It's all right, slugger. You'll get to kill your first demon real soon. Who is it? Mind your business, you fucking bitch! Charming. Yes. Oh. Oh. Shit! Ah. Grab his legs. That didn't go to plan. Is he really gonna do it? I can buy that this guy is, uh, if not a demon, at least bad. I've been waiting for this moment ever since all this started. Thanks, Daddy. No. Oh, 
what's he telling this guy? No! Ah! Um. Okay. I'm buried him in the rose garden. No, naturally. We went to the sheriff's and told him that Dad just didn't come home one day. For a while, they sent us to separate orphanages. Nobody ever knew about any of them. Not until now. That's a, that's a lot of, that's a lot of shit to carry around for 30 years. What did he say to the little brother? Probably that your brother's a demon, but like he, he didn't kill him. So I, I, I don't know. The urgency of this is super weird though, because if his brother is the serial killer and he's dead now, why is it so important? I mean, is he the killer? Oh. So close. Ooh. They don't bury him very deep. How has no one found all these corpses? If you ever destroy me, promise me you'll bury me here. Promise to God I'll bury you here. Wait. Wait, what? Wait a minute. I thought that was... I don't get it. He promised you that he'd bury you here if he killed you. No, not killed. Destroyed. Don't make any sense. Yes, it does. He's the other brother! If the man standing in front of you is Adam Meeks. That's, yeah! You're the little brother! <laughs> what, what? So you killed all those people. I've never killed anyone in my life. Fenton was a killer. Just stop the bullshit. You'll understand, son. You don't kill people like your dad didn't kill people? This is the spot. Does no one come here? Fenton didn't bury his victims here. He kept them as trophies in his basement. This is where I put demons. Thought your brother was a demon. He was. That's why he couldn't see the truth. Dad knew it, too. He just couldn't accept it. God asked Dad to destroy his son, much like he asked Abraham, but Dad couldn't do it. God didn't take pity on Dad like he did Abraham. So he handed down the duty to me. Fenton knew I'd come sooner or later, that's why I left those notes to lure me in. I guess he figured that when the killings made the news, I'd come for him. But I had to wait till God put him on my list, and before that would have been murder. And the wolf and the lion so he's a regular serial killer. And there'll be peace in the valley. This music is very uh incongruous. Adam. Peace in the valley. Oh. That's all lies, Adam. No, it's not. I see it when he touches him. It's real? Wait, is it saying that this stuff is real? Like, this was really happening? What a murdering son of a bitch. I got to you. Maybe. Maybe? That's not gonna bring your mother back, is it? She's dead. And her killer got away, didn't he? touching him i saw that earlier he kept like making a point not to touch him how did you know you were on the list ah! you think anybody knew about that did you god knew that's why he sent me they'll come Looking for me. They'll keep looking for Fenton. You're gonna be his last victim. They've seen you. They'll know it was you. Here's Otis again. God will protect me. 
Yeah. Either one you of you can it. remember what he looks like. Look, I told you it's just a blur. Can't understand that I looked right at him. I shook his hand. I've got to take a look at this. I got you now, buddy. What is this? I can't explain it. All the tapes look like this. God damn it. Fred Meeks, this is the FBI. We're coming in. <laughs> Uh, it's everything they need. Uh, all right, let's go. Oh! I need to speak to the sheriff. Is he in? What? Sheriff? Yeah. No! I'm Agent Griffin Hall, the FBI. I need to ask you some questions about your brother. Fenton? Yes, sir. Why don't you come on around back? But again, if you can think of anything where he might have gone, if he contacts you, of course. You're a good man, Agent O. She was talking about running off with brother's body and stuff. Everything's just fine. God's will has been served. Praise God. She, she was bullshitting for him. And bringing in another generation into this crazy shit. Cause even if it's true, it's still crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a movie that qualifies more as a mind fuck. Like, like no joke. Right now, I am having the hardest time trying to even think right now at all i don't even understand how i'm feeling like i'm being pulled in so many directions on this i don't know how to feel first they spend all this time building this up and setting up this whole story about trust and faith and belief and then they turn everything on its head because you, the person you were listening to was not telling the truth after all. He was the other brother. And then just when you're wrapping your head around that, you get hit with the whole, oh no, all the crazy shit was actually true. This, this is a loving father who is doing terrible things in front of his children and to his children but for objectively good reasons, how are you supposed to feel about that? We're supposed to believe that, that this child, this little boy who's innocent, who's done nothing, is, is a demon. Like, is a demon, not was possessed by a demon or became a demon, but was a demon, like from birth? How does that work? How are you supposed to reconcile that with any kind of, 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 faith background but him being a demon well it makes sense that the father would try to save him by torturing him in the cellar his motivations make sense in in that light but but they seem to have also like propelled him down that path of being evil so was it truly the right thing would it have been better to to not do this to him would he still have been evil and we're supposed to be i think i, I mean I'm, i guess i was kind of relieved that 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 the, the the divisions were real the people were evil and this this guy adam was truly a demon slayer and protecting the world but i sure didn't feel good at the end either it still all felt very sad and just very depressing and very dark like there was there was no winning here there was there was no good you'd think you'd be relieved in the end but you're not you just feel hollow inside this movie takes your mind and pokes holes in everything and swirls it around a little bit and then puts it back and expects you to figure stuff out and i don't know if i can i mean i definitely see why people praise this this was incredible i i would have to go back and and watch this whole thing again 
with 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 different eyes and thank goodness i get to when i edit it because there's a lot to to uh to unpack i i i apologize for for this scuffed up outro wrap up thing here um i feel kind of like i've just been gibbering for a while and not making any sense i think that's what this movie does to you there should be movies that do that to you there should be movies that just make you go wah and make you think and and you know like the music and the atmosphere and everything all together on this it was top notch it was it was skillfully put together i wish we could have seen more from from mr bill paxton if this is if this is his first time directing i i wish we could have had many 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 more from him I hope you enjoyed my reaction to Frailty, and uh, I, I hope you can make heads or tails of, if not the movie, at least what went on here. And I hope it was at least entertaining for you. <laughs> and with that, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check my description for my social media links and my Patreon. And um, yeah, uh, have a great rest of your day, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time if I can fix my brain. <laughs>